quantum world from smaller to smallest. Earthquakes happen so much more often for ants than they do for us, and it's all because of us. Imagine how many insect houses we destroy every day just by existing. We often forget that. What do you think you aren't also aware of? Let's take a four-dimensional trip together and live like those poor, invisible creatures are living. The universe is an unfathomably immense and bizarre place. It encompasses countless galaxies, each containing billions of stars and planets. But it is also unfathomably small and invisible. And yet when we shift our gaze from the vastness above to the infinitesimally small below, the universe only becomes more expansive and enigmatic. Miniature World Imagine standing in a park with a length of a thousand meters, which would typically take about 15 minutes to walk across. But now let's blink twice and shrink ourselves a thousand times smaller. Welcome to the Miniature World. So first you might wonder, what size have you become? You're an ant. Follow me around. Look around you and notice how the blades of grass tower above us like skyscrapers, and even the smallest pebble looks like a boulder. The air seems like it smells fresher and the sound of birds chirping is amplified to an incredible level. As we begin to walk, we realize that it will take us hours, if not days, to traverse this park in our shrunken state. We may even encounter new creatures that were invisible to us before, such as our fellow ants that now seem like our friends or microscopic organisms that are normally too small to see. A grain of sand becomes the size of a rock, etc. The possibilities for adventure in this miniature world are endless, and our imagination can take us on a journey beyond our wildest dreams. As you attempt to escape this overwhelming environment, you realize that the air has transformed into a thick, gooey substance. Moving through it feels as if you are traversing honey. Insects, however, utilize this dense air to their advantage, propelling themselves forward with paddle-like wings. A bee at its scaled-up size could easily outpace a Concorde jet, a feat impossible for its real-life counterpart due to weight constraints. Microscopic World But let's take our journey further. Blink twice once again and now we enter the microscopic realm. You shrink to a minuscule 2 micrometers comparable to the size of an E. coli bacterium. The once expansive park now extends a million kilometers in width, a journey that would take you 25 years to cross on foot. In this microscopic world, a giant bee becomes a mountainous structure reminiscent of Mount Everest, buzzing and vibrating with life. The air feels dense, almost like viscous lava, hindering your every movement. Blades of grass stretch beyond your field of vision, resembling vast landscapes like Paris to a regular-sized human. And within this seemingly barren terrain, you discover a multitude of individual cells, each resembling a house with a glass-like exterior. Stomata, akin to gaping mouths, punctuate these cells, inhaling air and exhaling oxygen. Suddenly, the mass of bees starts moving, revealing its intricate structure resembling a suit of armor. It takes flight to evade a droplet of water, now the size of an asteroid hurtling towards you at astonishing speed. The impact you anticipate turns out to be a suction, pulling you into the droplet. Swimming becomes a futile effort as the water clings to your limbs like glue. Air molecules, once free spirits, now seem to act as social creatures sticking together and creating a force that traps you within them. Within this miniature lake, you observe the presence of tens of thousands of microorganisms, exhibiting various shapes and sizes, including viruses the size of tennis balls and Euglena oxyurus cells that glide past like freight trains. Oily jellyfish-like organisms, comparable to cars, propel themselves with long tentacles acting as supercharged propellers. Before moving on, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Make sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on our daily videos. Molecular World And now let's delve even deeper into the molecule realm. With two more blinks, you become the size of a molecule measuring under 2 nanometers. The water droplet that surrounded you becomes as immense as the moon to a regular-sized human. 
Are you able to imagine that? Seems to me like every dimension has its own definition of a moon. The blade of grass beneath it stretches from the tip of Alaska to the end of Australia. The entire park, now almost the size of the solar system, is teeming with countless molecules and atoms. Guess we start needing rocket ships to move around. The rigid walls of grass cells vibrate, pulsating with waves of energy. The droplet itself contains an astronomical number of water molecules perpetually in motion, crashing into each other at incredible speeds. This furious motion derives from heat, where molecules vibrate, twist, and collide incessantly. Temperature in this realm reflects the average speed of these energetic dancers. In a sudden turn of events, a particularly forceful collision propels you out of the water droplet and into the air. Here you encounter a surprising revelation. The space between air molecules is a vacuum. Despite appearances, only a fraction of the volume is occupied by molecules and atoms, leaving 99.9% .9 as empty space. So much to run around. Fun. Subatomic World Finally, let's take one last blink and enter the subatomic realm. Oh my, what have we here? At under 2 pictometers in size, which is the equivalent of one trillionth of a meter, the concept of scale becomes incomprehensible. A human would tower over you, stretching their arms from the Sun to Saturn. That's around 1.4636 billion kilometers in equivalence. There's no way that could be the case. An atomic nucleus, once the central core, becomes a mere grain of sand that fits on the tip of your finger. This tiny grain contains an astounding 99.97% of the atom's mass, while the rest forms the electron cloud, a sphere of influence resembling the Eiffel Tower in your perspective. Electrons, elusive and ever-changing, dart around outside the nucleus, creating a vibrating, dynamic mess. Atomic nuclei, chaotic and blurred, constantly twist and vibrate at an astonishing rate. The immense energy they possess mirrors the power harnessed in nuclear bombs. But is that all? Seems like it won't be your last blink after all. Quarks Let's see now how far we can go. Well, our last stop will be the foundation of everything. Let's take a journey one step deeper into the world of particles and discover the tiny wonders called quarks. These super small particles are almost invisible, but scientists have found clever ways to prove they're real through experiments. Quarks are like the master builders of protons and neutrons, the building blocks of the atomic nucleus. These quirky quarks are so interesting because they have unusual features like a fractional electric charge, and they're always hanging out with their quark buddies. So let's get excited about these tiny but mighty particles. The world of quarks is a fascinating one, full of strange and exotic particles that scientists have been studying for years. These tiny particles are so small that they cannot be seen with the naked eye, and they are incredibly elusive, requiring special tools and techniques to study. Even so, scientists have managed to learn a great deal about quarks over the years, and their findings have helped to revolutionize our understanding of the universe we live in. So what exactly are quarks? In essence, they are the building blocks of matter. They are found inside of protons and neutrons, the two types of particles that make up the nucleus of an atom. Quarks are incredibly small, with a radius of about 10 to the power of minus 18 meters, and they come in six different flavors – up, down, charm, strange, top and bottom. These flavors are a bit like the different types of ice cream you might find at an ice cream shop, each with its own unique characteristic and properties. One of the most interesting things about quarks is that they have fractional electric charges, which means they carry only a fraction of the charge of an electron. This is unlike the charged particles we typically encounter in our daily lives, which either have a positive or negative charge, like a proton or an electron. Quarks can also never be found alone. They are always found in groups of two or three bound together by the strong nuclear force. This is a bit like how molecules are made up of atoms which are bound together by chemical bonds. So what do quarks do exactly? As we mentioned earlier, they are the building blocks of protons and neutrons, which in turn are the building blocks of atoms. Without quarks, the universe as we know it could not exist. Scientists believe that quarks may also play a role in the formation of other exotic particles like mesons and baryons, which are made up of combinations of quarks and antiquarks. And so our journey throughout the dimensions has come to an end. 
from the giant world of ants to the subatomic particles of quarks, we find ourselves back in our familiar human scale, the perfect middle ground in this vast and peculiar universe. We've always explored the vastness and intricacies of the universe, discovering new wonders at every turn in this channel. It's been nice to take a trip backwards and see what's under there, what makes us. From this experience, we can appreciate the complexity and beauty of our existence and the importance of understanding the smallest and largest components that make up our reality. Let us never stop exploring, learning, and appreciating the wonder of the universe we inhabit. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video where we'll explore more fascinating aspects of our world. Don't forget to like, subscribe to our channel to stay tuned with our latest videos and most exciting subjects. Let us know in the comments what you thought about this trip and leave a review. See you soon.